Hillary Clinton picked up key wins and delegates in Tuesday's primaries, beating Bernie Sanders in Florida, Ohio, North Carolina, and Illinois. Missouri is still too close to call. We are moving closer to securing the Democratic Party nomination and winning this election in November. Sanders appeared optimistic and showed no signs of slowing his campaign. We started this campaign at 3% in the national polls, we have come a long way in 10 months. But is Clinton the inevitable nominee? She seems to think so. In her victory speech Tuesday, she sounded more like a general election candidate, focusing her attacks not on her primary opponent, but on the GOP frontrunner. When we hear a candidate for president call for rounding up 12 million immigrants, banning all Muslims from entering the United States, when he embraces torture, that doesn't make him strong, it makes him wrong. Is there any chance of a nomination left for Sanders? The math is really hard for the Vermont senator. Clinton leads the delegate count by a significant majority. More than half of the remaining 2020 delegates will come from five states. California, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Washington, and New York. Clinton is leading Sanders by a high margin in four of those states, where she also won in 2008. According to exit polls, Clinton won support from Black and Hispanic voters in all five states Tuesday. That bodes well for her in states like California and New Jersey, where they make up more than one-third of the Democratic electorate. Still, Sanders has been riding the momentum of several wins, including an upset in Michigan, and has vowed to fight all the way to the convention. But we cannot go forward unless we deal with the realities of American society today, and that is what we are going to do. But if Clinton racks up more victories in those key states, the math might be too hard to ignore.